biggest question out there why should small businesses advertise on google chris we said it at the top of the show you're a regular guy when you're walking mm-hmm. around the grocery store going shopping for these uh very boring clothes you wear <laughs> well you no just... wait a second oh wow he's got his own merch there look at that got wow. my name on it regular clothes this is a one of a kind limited special yeah. edition chris Schaefer.com. like that yeah did you just stand up on your stool <laughs> oh my no i don't have a stool my tiptoes okay i'm standing i'm standing see Let's puff my chest out so you can read it you like that yeah yeah we're on youtube as well for everyone that doesn't know yeah. a lot going see on if- there and uh, we put clips out there as well so if you enjoy a uh, video format as well we're there so chris uh you're quite regular out there you're quite boring you're quite uh just mm. a guy that doesn't really stand out okay uh, easy easy all right uh it's early in the show it'll be easy okay <laughs> So you're regular out there, but you know, if you're out there getting your hair cut, going to the gym, whatever, and someone asks you what you do you do and you say, uh, I help people advertise on Google ads and they go, oh, I have a small business. Why should I advertise on Google ads? You know, what do you have to say to that, Chris? Um, how do you answer that question? Because I think it's a thing, a question that a lot of small businesses are thinking a lot about, even if they've never taken the step to advertise on Google yet. Why should they do it? For me... Uh, the thing that I hear a lot, you know, when I when people ask, you know, hey, what do you do? And I say, well, I I I, I do Google ads, you know, ma- uh, paid ads on Google, and and usually what I hear are things like, oh, we have a website and we do mailers, or we have a radio commercial or TV, or you know, we ha- we do SEO or things like that, you know, and these are all things that are typically big ticket items. And what I think is so great about Google Ads is that it's, it's so approachable at a small volume. Try doing a radio uh, ad, you know, that, that pain, co- yeah. gets any significant amount of coverage, you know, for a cheap, you know, for, for a couple hundred bucks a month, you know, and, 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 and try and find that out there. Try and do a TV commercial. Try and do mailers and things like that, you know, where, where you can actually spend just a little bit of money and track what you're getting out of it. You know, to actually see, not just, hey, the mailers are sent. Okay, great, cross your fingers. You know, I mean, that that's that's essentially what we're gonna, you know, hope for. It's so approachable. You can start with any budget that works for you and you'll see what you get out of it. You know, I mean, Jason, as you, as you manage campaigns, as I manage campaigns, we show people literally what their money is giving them. Yeah. Down to the, you know, who is coming to the site, what they were looking for, where they're located, the time of the day, the device they were searching on, everything. Yeah. So you really, so the number one thing you're hitting on is just the flexibility. You can start small. You're not locked into anything and you're in total control. Uh, So I like that. Um, I think some small businesses would say, well, I've done that with the digital marketing. You know, we started with a small Facebook budget. Something I hear all the time is we got a lot of leads on Facebook. Don't know if they were necessarily good leads that turned into business, but we got a lot of leads. I hear that all the time. Uh, So there are other platforms out there where you can start small. Uh, That's kind of a feature of the digital marketing space, uh, Google ads, Facebook, and other platforms that you can advertise online. Um, But Google does have that going for it as well. Like the other platforms, start with a small budget. You can change your budget anytime. You can pause things anytime. So you have that flexibility. Um, But I think what separates Google ads and Google from and search advertising from things like Facebook or the other platforms is you can get in front of people at the exact moment when they're searching for exactly what you offer. And there's no like warmer lead than that. Um, They're looking for exactly what you offer. They're they're actively searching for it and you can get right there. There's nothing that can compete with that. And I think um, for a lot of long-term advertisers on Google and then like a lot of agency type people, I think a lot of people, that they don't remember that sometimes. They don't remember how powerful that is if you just kind of stick to basics. And that's why the platform works. Um, and then Chris, you were mentioning you can track everything and see everything. So a lot of these new small business advertisers haven't heard of um, 
conversion tracking or search terms. So can you kind of get into that and talk about, yeah. uh, start with search terms and how that is a unique offering of Google? Right. So a lot of people would know what a keyword is. A keyword is what you type in because that's what you're targeting. You target a keyword, but what's the result of the click? What did the click bring in? It didn't necessarily just bring a click on a keyword. What it brought was an actual search behind that keyword. And that's called the search term. Literally what the person with their thumbs or their fingers on a keyboard type in right before they click on their ad or your ad. Um, it's very simplistic and it reveals so much about the moment in time that the person is looking. I mean, the English language is, is going to be a great device to see into the intent of the person that's doing the search. A click mm -hmm. is just a number on a screen. You can't derive intent from a Facebook click because there's no, you, you can't tell what they were thinking in the moment. You can't tell what they were thinking when they listen to a uh, radio ad or when they look at a billboard or when they uh, open a mailer or something like that. But you can actually see what happened when that click, when you spent the money, you get to see the intent. And that is so unique because I can see the difference between someone searching on roofer or mm. how to repair my roof, right? These are kind of, uh, you know, it's not a great search, but uh, whole roof repair near me, right? I mean, how much would you pay to show up for something like that? There's a lot of value in that. And you can determine which ones have value, where you want to put your money, and then invest in that area. Yeah. And if you're like a real estate attorney and someone's trying to pitch you advertising on certain types of television content, they're saying, well, people who watch uh, TV shows about real estate, a lot of them are real estate investors. They're going to need a real estate attorney. Why don't you give us $20,000 and we'll show your ads for right. a month or so versus right. Google. Why don't you just only show your ad when someone searches real estate attorney in Dallas, if you're a real mm -hmm. estate attorney in Dallas and boom, you're getting in front of people who are looking for exactly what you offer. And then the tracking is complete. Uh, there's ways to track when people fill out lead forms on your site. There's ways to track when they call phone numbers from the ads and click on a call button right in the ad. And then a lot of people don't know there's ways to track when they actually uh, dial the phone number they see on your website. So it's a closed system and you can track uh, everything. Uh, and then uh, finally, Chris, it's just, you know, why should small businesses advertise on Google ads? It's where your customers are. That That's where people are. They're on search. Uh, they're on Google specifically, and it's the future. Uh, and so you better start learning now because this is where customers are going to be um, for a long, long time. 